part two in building the Valkyrie, you have the frame. Now we're going to add some MGN rails and also the part for the A and B. So this is what you have, except the MGN rails. We're going to add those and we're going to add the A and B printed parts. For placing the MGN rails, you can take a look at the drawing. From the previous step, you have the bare frame. And now we're going to add some printed parts for the A and B system or X and Y if you want, and also some MGN rails. You're going to end up with what you see on the screen right now, with some printed parts, the X axis, and the MGN rails for the Y axis. First, we're gonna start with the printed part, and you want to add the front and the rear idler brackets, which is currently blue on the screen. We are using M5 by 10s and T nuts inside the T slot. <clears throat> and you want to assemble the bracket before you put it onto the frame. All these four idler brackets are supposed to have a gap of 3 mm from the Y profiles to the brackets. So use a drill bit or something 3 mm to put in between here. And then you slide the bracket all the way to your spacer and then attach it. That applies to all four of these brackets. We need this small gap to be able to tram the frame after we built it. After the four idler brackets, you can add the motor bracket. This is also very simple to align because it goes in the middle of this rear crossbar. Then add the idler towers. I can make a drawing for this bracket. In the COD model, you can view what kind of hardware goes where. Also note the smooth idlers in the forks in these tension towers. There's one tower for the upper belt and one for the lower belt. After you've got the printed parts in place, you can add the MGN rails. So these rails are also located all the way back to the rear idler bracket. You can now add the Y carriers, these guys. Make sure to assemble everything before you put them on the frame. You can also add the carbon tube. Remember to get all hardware inside the Y carriers. I can make a drawing for these as well. There's a correct order to do this X axis. First, you can put one Y carrier on. Then you put the MGN rail onto the carbon tube. You put the carbon tube onto the Y carrier and then the second Y carrier. So we have the whole X axis in place. So first a complete Y carrier, then a complete carbon tube, then the second Y carrier. When the X axis is complete, you can add the tool head. I can make a separate drawing for the tool head and also a separate video for the tool head. So for now, this is what you should have. Complete X axis, complete A and B system, all the idler brackets and the rear motor brackets and tension towers. That's it for this video guys, remember to come to Discord and show your progress, and I'll see you guys in the next one.